I'm gonna have my uh, service geezer put a piece of pool noodle around my kayak handle so it will quit flopping and making such a loud thud. I have no idea if you can even see what he's doing, but um, I'll try this electrical tape too. Thank you, service geezer. Anytime, my lady. Look at Chuck's van. Chuck, tell us about your van. Well, it's a 1991 Ford uh, E250. It's three quarter ton. And when I bought it, it was gutted. And so I built an interior for it using uh, repurposed stuff that I bought at the Habitat for Humanity store. Okay, was it already a high top? It was already had the high top, had the awning. Uh, it had some mechanical issues, so I didn't. Pay, I only paid fourteen hundred dollars for it. So it was already a camper van, it was, but gutted. But it had been gutted, so oh. I had to build. I built an interior for it and, and doing it on the cheap. And uh, after everything was over with, I got maybe maybe five thousand dollars in it. Okay, let's see it. Oh, look, a desk. That's awesome. This is an old, this is an old desk that had the screw on legs. I took the legs off of it, extended it nine inches in the back and 20 inches in the length and made it into my bed platform. I paid $25 for it. I built the divider out of stuff I had laying around my shop, left over from other jobs. The kitchen desk here is actually, it was a $35 desk. It's a 24 by 42 inch desk. And so that's my kitchen, and I can also use it as an office if I need it. Very nice. Oh, wow. And you, do you mind if I go in? No, go ahead. Help you, you can stand up what in here. Wow. Oh, Chuck, this is spectacular. You know, I'm not full-time. If I was full-time, I probably would need more storage. But, but uh, as it is, it works out fine. And thinking minimalistic, it works out very fine for me. Very nice. What do you do for power? I have a, uh, I have an isolator. I have two coach batteries under the floor in the back, and so it charges off the alternator. And right behind you there in the corner is a charging station that runs off my coach batteries, and I can charge all my devices there. So you don't have any solar? I don't have any solar, and the way I utilize it, I really don't need it. I move around enough that my batteries, my batteries have never gone down on me. And is this a heater down here? There's no. Well, that's a that's actually the old power thing from the old van, and I just haven't taken it out. Oh, okay. For heat, I use a Mr. Buddy heater. It's in the back there, and then I have a chair and a chase lounge both mounted to the wall here. Um, look at how nice this is. The bottom, if I for a stove, I just use a little single burner. Put it on the single burner butane stove that I take and set it up there when I when I need it, and then for the for a sink, I just use a stainless steel salad bowl. Okay. Very, very simple. No tanks, no drains. Underneath the end down there is a porta potty because that was important to me. Okay. So that. Uh, you know, so I don't you have, have an actual porta potty. I have an actual porta potty. And that's. It actually has a water tank and little pump and it actually flushes. Nice. Very nice. And I can service it by just opening the back door to get to it. Very nice. One of the things I did with this is I wanted to keep it utilitarian so because it's my daily driver and I wanted to be able to haul a sheet of plywood or a step ladder or something in it if I need it and that's why I left the I left the, the aisleway open there. Very nice. Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> um, do you have a refrigerator? No, I, I, I've experimented with uh, ice chests and that sort of thing and I thought about a refrigerator but uh, being that I'm not out a long time at a time 
and I'm an old backpacker, so I just use food that doesn't require refrigeration. Okay, so you guys, look at how simple this is. He doesn't have a solar, he does have a house battery, but it's hooked up to his alternator or to his um, car battery and is charged when he's driving. Um, and doesn't need a refrigerator. Anybody can put something like this together. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to live this lifestyle. Yeah, not, not counting the mattress, which was a little bit of a luxury for me. Uh, not counting the mattress, I put the whole interior together for around $200. $200. That's amazing. And it came out pretty nice. Of course, I was able to do my own work. I is now is this a long? Yes, it's a it's a club wagon. It's the extended the extended one. Extended wheelbase. So he has a lot more um, space than a regular size van does. It enabled me to put in the the, uh, the mattress. I'm a tall guy, so I wanted the twin extra long mattress, and so it's an 80 inch twin. 80. And because I had the longer wheelbase, I was able to do that. Very nice. Wow, I am really impressed. Well, um. So do you think you'll ever want to do this full time? Uh, probably not. Uh, I'm, I have a wife and, and uh, still have the house and uh, she doesn't like the van thing, but we do have a travel trailer. Oh, nice. And so when she wants to go someplace, we take the travel trailer. Okay. And so I'm, I'm out quite a bit, but uh, 100 and, 104 nights out last year. Oh, so that's, that's quite a bit. bit. Yeah, that's quite a bit. We went up to Washington, Oregon. And nice. The same place as you were last yes, year. Yes, yes, beautiful. Summer. Beautiful. Well, thanks for showing us your van. I really, really am um, impressed by it. Well, thank you. Thank I you. It. Have a great day. Come to visit us. This is Carolyn Giannetti, Giacchetti. Right. And um, she is a YouTuber and also a retired police officer, a retired sheriff's deputy. Right. And um, look another at one. another one. Hi. Yeah, you got to use Sorry. keep those. Four letter words to yourself. Look at you little baby. Daddy. Hi, sweetheart. She's a little... Hi. There's a lot of stickers. Hi. Oh. Oh, oh it, how old is she? She's a year old. She's oh, a Morky. Oh, a Morky. Yorkie so... and Maltese. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We got we got gunky in your Yeah, it's I gotta cut it off. She's got something stuck on there. Okay. Forgot to mention that's R V Rebber Re... Okay. Girl. Let's just show your button. No. Oh. Okay, RV Reb Rebel Girl. There we go. I know it's a tongue twister. I know. There are so many Carolyn. I know. That I, I had to button? find. A, oh, I had to find a name. Can I see her button? <laughs> Which side? <laughs> <laughs>